it's a light day we gonna do this the right way we got the 2000s editions the greatest era out this piece and we also still have los murtos murtos how do you pronounce that somebody get in here in voice chat and pronounce that we got a whole lot of agendas challenges in the season two challenges for these los murtos it's part two part three part one two and three and then you got the original murtos still here you got i would say two days from the time of this recording i would say it's two days and 20 hours for the time from the time of this recording two days and 20 hours to get these done hoop invader points 40 points with a hoop invader player 15 points with and three assists with an original murtos 15 block steals over multiple games uh 20 points with heat players over multiple games 20 points with wizard players over multiple games uh and 37 points with a player must include two warriors record a double double must include two mavericks block three shots as a team must include two spurs players those could be pretty easy to do i would want to say the steals blocks will be the hardest one let's get to part one of murtos you got three challenges with each tier of player sapphire emerald gold ruby and amethyst shouldn't be too hard to get to you get a skull piece for each of these to open the hardest one out of here i would say would be this sapphire blocks and steals again blocks and steals over multiple games got to get 15. if you're not good at getting blocks and steals that's gonna be pretty hard to do yeah i'm saying okay murtos part two looking at Murtos part two murtos part two win five games using three or more dia de los murtos players win seven breakout games in a row and then two triple threat park or triple threat online players in a row so that might be the hardest one winning them two triple threat park or triple threat online games i don't have old gen installed right now because i installed black ops 6 for a super secret project that we're working on don't worry about that we'll talk about that sometime later and um part three okay part three they got 35 of these for part three and as you can see you're going to need a los murtos player for all of these i think you're gonna need to make two three-pointers with Mar mario chalmers in a game i'm not going through all of these but i just want you to see that you're gonna need a Merc toast player to do all of these so pretty much it looks like they're making you buy the Merc toast player or go get the Merc toast player to finish these that's crazy work 2k that's kind of crazy you want me to spend my mt getting these players and then i gotta wait 30 minutes to even get the player two rebounds in the game with Murtos, alvin williams derwin cook Darrell wright yeah i mean this is looking crazy cedric sabalas i mean this is looking kind of kind of crazy bro it's 35 of these joints though so i'm gonna need 35 players out of how many 45 players if we come over here to manage my collection season two there are 45 players here you can say minus these three definitely pink diamonds they're not gonna make you get those but I mean, I doubt they're gonna make you get these two. Well, they do say Mario Chalmers out there. I saw Mario Chalmers name. So if I have to go get diamond players, amethyst players, I don't know. I don't know, That's that might be a wash for me. Hopefully they don't make you go get those, but it did look like they want you to go and get these players. So these players right here should be high up on the market right now. They should be going for a pretty penny. This guy's probably selling MT. You see him going for 25. I'm i'm confused somebody's buying mt somebody's alert alert 25k for that that's i mean come on if you wanna if you wanna you know what i mean call a spade a spade all of these are going for five and then you got bro selling that for 25 it looks like he's selling or buying some mt or something like that either way it's a lot of these players here and for me to have to go get these players off the block for eight thousand a piece five thousand four thousand a piece it's sounding kind of crazy because there's no way that I'm going to pull these players. Am I getting one of these players out of the packs? What is going on here? Let's let's look at what the prize is for these because this challenge looks crazy, 2K. Part three looks really crazy. No, I'm getting a skull. I'm getting a gold skull for these. The prize is a gold skull events card. And I'm, I don't know. I, I'm going to need, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to need an explanation. I'm going to need you to explain, 2K. You got some explaining to do. Yes, sir, Rebob. Let's go look at what's going on on the market, though. 
with these 2000s players. We got a 10 pack for 99 KVC. All right. All right. We got base packs out here. These are these are kind of cheap. These are kind of cheap. 200K for a 20. But I'm looking for what I'm looking for is a it's not here. There's no deluxe packs out here. But the players in here, though, Jermaine O'Neal, Steve Francis. I'm looking for Corey Maggette. I'm not going to hold you one bit. I'm looking for that Corey Maggette. We got Rich, Rip Hamilton, Mike Bibby, Antonio Davis. OK, that, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. If we're going to look at it and call a spade a spade, let's hop over here to the display and see what we are talking about with these cars. 90s editions, greatest era, 2000s edition. Greatest era, I call them the 90s. Greatest era, 2000s edition. Now, they wanna say Steve Francis is the hottest out here. They wanna say Jermaine O'Neal is the hottest in the club. They wanna say Mike Bibby's real, but I say Corey Maggette is that guy because he's just my favorite player in the pack. I, I'm just gonna call that, call that out as it is. But I wanna see what's going on with these dudes. You know what I mean? What is really, what's really what so okay let me come over here to rip hamilton real quick i'm looking at a 89 three-point shot that's not bad that's not too bad he doesn't really hold a bunch of badges well he doesn't have a bunch of badges he holds a whole lot of badges these all look upgradable um a 95 a 95 shot iq 89 three-point shot ain't bad that's not bad i mean we talking about rip hamilton that's not bad Jaden springer and kyle kuzma for the jumper upper release Kyle Kuzma I'm not liking that but it is what it is I'm not putting too much stock into these cards though Antonio Davis for a center power forward 6'9 center power forward I'm not putting too much stock into him he can't shoot he has a 35 three-point shot so we're not even looking for him you get him you lost you lost the game Mike Bibby you might want to roll with him a 94 three-point shot I'm I'm liking it a 93 ball handle 94 speed with ball it would have to come down to what his animations are we got gordon drogic and alec caruso out here on a jumper gordon drogic's lower base is okay that's not bad um the sig's not looking bad either stig's not looking bad jimmy's moving crossover uh jason tatum step back yeah i mean it's, it's all right it's all right it's all right mike bibby's looking all right we're looking at Corey mcgetty Corey mcgetty spaghetti mcgetty with an 86 three-point shot that's not bad he's not moving too fast out here speed is at an 88 agility is at an 88 i mean eh, a lot of this is in the 80s for Corey maggetti 86 three-point shot is okay 96 speed with ball what is that driving dunk 88 driving layup 90 driving dunk that's okay that's all right he's i mean he's the guy he's that guy hopefully he gets a a uh pink diamond or a opal down the line Either way, I'm looking for Corey McGady. Jermaine O'Neal, a uh, center power forward standing at 6'11". He's shooting a 79 three-point shot. So he's he can shoot. He can shoot a little bit. A little driving dunk at 85, you know what I mean? A little, little ugh, you know what I mean? Keldon Johnson, I don't know what that's hidden for. Upper release, Steven Adams. I don't know what those are hidden for. Did we look at Corey's jumper? Sorry for jumping all around here for a second. David Robinson, lower base. Kevin Knox the second. Kevin Knox Jr. for an upper release. I don't know what that is hitting for. I do not know what that's. But we come over here back to uh Jermaine O'Neal. And I mean, eh, I'm not I'm not saying he's bad for a for a pink diamond center power forward, power forward center. But he's not, I'm not gonna say he's the one that I'm looking for out here i mean at least he can shoot and i will say that at least he can shoot we come over here to steve the francis jr jr at 88 three-point shot that's all right 95 speed with ball 97 ball handle oh that's that guy that's that guy six three point guard he's a point guard with a dream 95 agility 95 speed i'm i'm messing with that 95 driving dunk this is a card card honestly if you do get this card, you you kind of might have won the game. Steve Francis upper release and lower base on normal. A lot of a lot of wiggle in this card. I see some movement behind the back on Shea Gilgis. I see Giannis's escape. I would have liked that escape to be a little bit something different. Um, Jason Tatum step back. Ah, they left a little bit to be desired in the Sig situation. But I mean, call a spade a spade. That is a card card. That is a grown man guard right there. You can get right with that guard. Either way, 
we will hop into some of this Del Murtos. We will hop into some of this whoop de whoop and whoop wops and see what that is. Okay, that's a gold card. We knew that was a gold card. We knew that. Um, do I want to pull some of these packs? Uh, <laughs> um, honestly, to be honest with you, we could pull a base pack maybe. Um, I don't really want to pull any of these cards. I don't really want to pull for these. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to pull for these. I honestly, if I were to pull some MT for these, cool. If I get something, if I don't, I, it is what it is. But I, I, yeah, I just really don't want to pull for these. I don't. I can't say that that makes me feel like, like I'm winning if I pull any of these cards. If I were to get Maggetti, straight, I'm straight, cool. If I were to get Francis, I'm cool. If I get O'Neal, uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about getting O'Neal. I might throw him on the block. Um, if we come over here to the collection, season two collection and just look at these 90s these six cards honestly i'm i'm just not head over heels for these cards as you can see he's going for three hundred and seventy-five thousand as a pink diamond nobody wants this card nobody's looking for that card if we go over here to steve francis i see one steve francis on the block two hours two and a half hours left on that card he's just at 1.1 1 .1 million one i mean one one thousand one hundred thousand one hundred points i do not i mean th these cards just don't look too sought after they don't look like the ones that i'm looking for out of the bunch if i can get maggetti off of the block i'm with that i'm with that um but other than that i'm not i'm not head over heels for these cards i'm just not i'm just not they're just not the ones i'm looking for and i don't know how many different ways i could say that not to throw any kind of shade at these cards but they're just not those guys for me they're not the ones the, for this week the most i'm looking at is just jumping into these challenges and getting my mt up um maybe finishing this showdown situation getting some of these showdowns done and getting into the king of the court maybe for this week i'm kind of thinking about it three days left to get in there um i don't know really i'm most interested in finishing this salary cap i might be done with that tonight with this barbecue buckets pack as far as i mean that's just as far as the grind for this week and how i'm seeing it i'm just not too yeah i'm not going i'm not going crazy over these uh these uh 2000s editions if you were to pull one of these cool cool like i said okay cool i mean we're putting them on the block i'm putting steve francis on the block i'm honestly these are i'm slut walking these cards i mean that's just how i'm feeling with my lineup that i'm running right now i threw i like how jalen rose is running i picked up jalen rose just on a whim um vasquez jr okay he's all right he's all right he's not bad i mean i'm not gonna call him a bad card by any means by any shake of the tail feather um this is what i'm running on salary cap i just so happened to get my salary cap team right and they just outdated my team they just ran my team through the roof by 1100 points i'm gonna have to see what's that about i mean most likely most likely some of these uh some of yeah okay most likely a lot of these a lot of these gold cards went from 200 to 300 that's usually what happens so it's, it's most likely not going to be any of my cards in my actual lineup i don't use my bench and salary cap so a lot of these 200 point cards went to 300 and i'm just gonna have to swap them out for some gold cards that are worth 200. that's pretty much where i'm at with mine but when it comes down to any of these cards that i feel like are running i might i'm gonna take vasquez out of my lineup i'm eh, Vasquez comes out of the lineup. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, Karolinka or Glenn, probably a go in that spot. Uh, I'm thinking Glenn, maybe Karolinka, who knows? Either way, I've taken up enough of your time with the, uh, the 2000s era. And I mean, y'all be cool. Kobe. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.